Hi, my name is Chris Armstrong from Regal Technologies, and I've been in the test and measurement industry for 12 years. This is the DSA 815 Spectrum Analyzer from Regal. It's a one and a half gigahertz spectrum analyzer. It has a lot of nice functions on it. Let's talk about a few. So here we're looking at the full spectrum. Let's use the tracking generator to do a quick test on a filter. So if we turn the tracking generator on, we can see the peak. Let's zoom in on the shape of that. So here we can find the peak, make that the center frequency, and go ahead over to the span and really zoom in on that signal. So let's take that span down to about 200 megahertz. Let's find that peak again. All right. Zoom in a little more. All right, so this is the shape of the filter. So the tracking generator is moving with the analyzer to show you the um, output of that filter. It's a bandpass filter giving you uh, a, a bandwidth. Let's check that bandwidth. Well, if we look at the, we can use the special uh, 3dB bandwidth marker to show you the 35, 40 megahertz bandwidth of this filter. So that's a good way to look at a filter. Uh, the combination of the tracking generator um, and the noise capabilities of the spectrum analyzer make it an easy test. We can also control this uh, demo box from the front panel. So we can go in and instead of using that instead of using that filter, we can look at the output from an amplifier. And instead of using the tracking generator, we'll mix in some other frequencies. So again, so here you have the output of the, uh, of the amplifier. We can find that peak. And then really let's auto scale that. Move that into the There's a good look at our span. We can use the multiple traces on this unit to really look at the differences. So if we freeze that trace coming out of the outside of the amplifier, let's look at what that signal was before it went into the amplifier. So I'll turn on another trace and then we can move the connection over to before the amplifier. Move that switch internally. So there you have the difference between the purple and the yellow. It shows you that the shape of that 20 dB amplifier. And you can see when that's working and what the nature of the amplification is. One other thing we can test now that we've got uh, a couple frequencies coming in through this mixer, we can look directly at the output of the mixer. So we'll go back into the system here. Let's look at the output of that mixer. All right, so we're mixing one gig and 50 megahertz internally. And so you can see the mixing products. So if we look at the peaks, there's the 950 megahertz, the difference between the two. Uh, we can use the peak right and peak left buttons. There's the other sum of the difference at 1.05 gig. And the others are harmonics, which is you can look at the quality of the mixer and uh, where the intercepts are and what, what harmonics are really affecting your, your mixing components. So some of those tests use a tracking generator, but those are a couple different RF component tests that, that really make good use of a spectrum analyzer like this for a number of component and benchtop tests. For more information, please contact your T-Equipment product specialist.